This Friday, the 20th of March 2015, there's going to be a partial solar eclipse visible here in Great Britain. Now before I get started and tell you how you can view it safely, I should remind you to never look directly at the sun or use things such as telescopes or binoculars to look directly at the sun. You can damage your eyesight and even go blind. And this is really important if you're looking after young children and they wish to observe the eclipse because obviously they can damage their eyesight. So please take care. Now, the eclipse is going to start at roughly half past eight and reaching a maximum at about half past nine and disappearing by about half past ten. In the Arctic Circle, you're going to get a total eclipse, which would be amazing to see. Now, an eclipse occurs because the sun here is roughly 400 times bigger than the moon, but the moon is 400 times closer to the earth. Now, when the moon comes between the earth and the sun, it can block out the light coming from the sun and reaching the earth. The more of the moon that gets in the way, the more of the sun's light is blocked out. And this is how you get a total solar eclipse. Now, there are two really easy ways to observe a solar eclipse. And the first one is you can actually make it home. So all I've got here is a cardboard box with a tiny piece of tin foil covering one end. If you look inside, you should be able to see that I've cut a hole out, a rectangular hole in there, which I've covered with the tin foil on the outside. And all I've done is taken, you can take a fork or a knife to gently poke a hole in it. You might need to make it slightly bigger, you can see, because you've got about an hour before it reaches totality. So you might need to have a little bit of a fiddle with that. What you need to do is point the tin foil at the sun with the hole in. And if you look underneath, you'll be able to see projected onto the back of the box, the sun. It should come out roughly the size of a 50 pence piece. So by about half past nine, you should be able to see the sun disappearing really nicely and that's because the moon's got in the way. Now the other way is if you're lucky enough to get hold of a pair of these. Now these are like gold dust at the moment. These are special solar eclipse viewing glasses and when you put these on they block out almost all of the light coming from the sun. So basically these are really safe. Now when I've got these on the sun appears and I've stared directly at the sun using these. The sun appears like the moon does at full moon so it's perfectly safe to watch them. Just be careful in case you've got any scratches on it. Now with these on you should be able to view the eclipse perfectly. It would be absolutely wonderful. So good luck and enjoy the eclipse. 